Hi everyone, so this is the 2023 pack. I'm just checking my mic to make sure the mic's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2023 pack, or 2023 onwards pack, hopefully, uh, for the circles. It's two lessons, so it's quite nice. Right, you ready? So the first lesson talks about uh, equations of a circle. So I'm going to be careful. I think I want a five minute timer in this computer. Different computers have different software, different editions of the software. Look. This has got a five minute recording window. Right, so hopefully at school, things you'll have known, if that's the center and that's a coordinate x, y, and that's r, that it's just kind of Pythagoras really. So that kind of distance across there is x and that distance up there is y. So I've got like an x squared plus a y squared is equal to an r squared, just using Pythagoras. I can do similar if I've got a center, which is a comma b, and I've got a coordinate x comma y on the outside. So that is the x. So that distance there is x minus a. That's the y. So that distance there is y minus b. And then I've got r. So I can use a similar vein for Pythagoras. It will be x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. So then with the two formulas I've got, all I need to do is sub the numbers in the right place. So it says you want the equation of a circle with a center minus 3, 2, and a radius of 4. So I'm going to put it in x minus a squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. So I've got x minus and minus 3, so x plus 3 squared. I've got y minus 2 squared is equal to 4 squared, which is 16 there. Okay? So let's have a look at this example then. So it says find the center. So you've got to remember, because of these minuses here, that when you get in the coordinates, you change the signs. So this here is like an x minus a minus 4 squared. You can't read that minus 4. And this is like um, a y minus 0 squared. So the center will be minus 4 comma 0. And the radius will be root 10. Root 10 won't serve down, so just leave it like that. Now then, this one's a little bit more tricky. We have an expanded form of this equation. Um, if I expand my bracket, so let's do it over here. So say I've got x minus a all squared, and y minus b all squared is r squared. If I expand the bracket, it's x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus y squared minus 2by plus b squared is equal to r squared. And if you look on this, look at the, the, the format of example 3. It's got like an x squared, a y squared. I've got an x term. Uh, I've got a y term. And then I've got a constant. Now the constant is made up of a squared plus b squared minus r squared is equal to zero. So that little bit there is the kind of the constant term. So if you look, you can kind of do, there's two different ways of doing it. You can say that minus four is the same as minus two a, so a is two. And you can say that plus two is the same as minus two b y, so b is minus one. And then you can sub it in, so the minus four is equal to that, um, and you can work out what R is. The other way to do it, and I'm very aware now they're on 4 minutes 30, and I'm not going to get time to get through this, so I'm going to stop the video there, so you can have lots of 5 minute videos. Sorry about that.